Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today, I'm so excited, is the very first video in my 2023 Christmas decor series. Woohoo! I'm so excited about this, you guys. I have been looking forward to my Christmas decorating since I started feeling better. I've lost a lot of weight, as you guys know. I'm feeling so much better. I'm up on my feet more. I'm less dependent on my hubby to do things for me, although he did get up and put some stuff on some shelves that I'll show you here in a second. Uh, he did get up on, just because he insisted. I said, I can do it, I can do it. He says, no, I'm going to do it for you today. So I said, okie dokie. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm not going to get stubborn on him like that, you know? So anyway, uh, in today's video, I will be working on our Christmas mantle. And I really won't be doing too much different to it this year than I did last year, but I know I have a lot of new subscribers. And hopefully those of you who come back will enjoy watching me put it together and explaining all about the brass tacks of how I put my mantle together. And uh, the very first thing that I'm going to put on here in just a second is, you can see it sitting right there, is my nativity. And that is the reason for the season, you guys. This is why I love Christmas decorating so much. is because I'm a Christian and Jesus is the reason for my Christmas season, you know, first and foremost. So he should be center stage. He should take center stage right on the mantle, you know? So also too, this mantle kind of sets the stage for the rest of the decor on this side of the house. This side of the house will be decorated in reds and golds and whites, pretty much exclusively. Uh, red berries, uh, very classically decorated, if you will. So anyway, without further ado, we're gonna get started on this mantle. So let me move my camera up a little closer. Okie dokie, there we go. So let me just show you first off, the way we hold this garland up, I'll tell you about this garland in just a second, but the way we hold it up is we use command strips. And I know some people don't necessarily use command strips or they don't work well for some, but for us, they work great. So uh, we have actually two of them there to hold a, this is a clothes hanger that Chris has made into like an inverted V, if you will with it going down off of one side and a hook, making a hook on that side, because I have do have some garlands that wrap around to the side and we want something to hang the garland on on the side. And then we have uh, the other piece coming out right here and here is where the garland is hooked onto, right here. And then we have another clothes hanger here, held on with a command strip, coming out with a hook and the garland is held on there. I've got one underneath this plate and I've got, you know, the mirrored effect on the other side. So for us, this works great for our, for our mantles designs. This works great. Now to tell you about this garland, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. I got this garland at Grandin Road many years ago. I actually have two of these, that's how much I like them. And I did not want to ever not be without one. So I bought, I think I bought one for full price or either that or we saw it at the end of the season and purchased it. It is a cascading garland. All the cascades are already built into it and I will be adding a few things to it, but not a lot, you guys, pretty much just some frosted red berries. So then you can see that we have uh, some up lights going on here in the front that Chris has rigged up to be, uh, they're USB charged and we just plug the USB into a plug, an adapter plug around the corner there. Same with the plate. This is where my, my nativity is going to sit. I can pull this up a little bit and show you. You can see here it has a piece of cork on it and it also has the same kind of little lights around the front of the plate. I don't know whether you can see that. Yeah, you can. Because I wanted to light up my nativity. We did that last year. And I went ahead and put the, and all that I have, a, this is like a, a cake plate, and I just have a candle ring. I'll show you what it is. It is something just like this. 
around this is the, the pedestal part and I put, added some of the same frosted berries in. It's got pine cones and a little eucalyptus leaf and you know all kinds of things in there. I just wanted something to fill in so you didn't see the pedestal part, if you will, of that. So Okay, before I get started with putting my nativity up, I wanted to point you up and show you that wreath. I'll see if I can find a closer picture of it. I made that wreath several years ago and I added to it a couple years ago. And I've been messing with that wreath for about three or four years now. And I finally got it the way I wanted it. <laughs> and I found that ribbon at Home Depot a couple years ago. And that is a big fat bow on it. And I've got bells hanging from it, red berries, red poinsettias. It is the epitome of Christmas, isn't it? I just love it. And we hung it right center, it, uh, we centered it on the mirror, side to side and up and down. And then I used uh, just the same piece of the ribbon as the hanger, as you can see it going up and around the top. Don't ask me how Chris did that, he did that. He hung it on there, so I don't know how he does that. Uh, but anyways, you can see I have shelves on either side of the mirror, and on each shelf I have an angel with gold wings. I got those a long, long time ago. I believe at Hobby Lobby, or could have been Home Goods. Could have been Home Goods too, I can't remember. And then I do have gold Christmas trees. For those in my Facebook group, you know that I painted some candles, gold, I'll show you those in a little bit. They wouldn't fit, you guys. We talked about getting having them up there too. Well, they wouldn't fit, and I prefer the angel and the tree, just like that. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you those few things above the mantle. Okay, let's get started on putting this mantle together. And of course, Joseph is standing there waiting. <laughs> and here, here we go with a star, uh, mimicking the Star of David, you know. And uh, let's go ahead and put Joseph into place here. I think I can push that star back. I, I'm using a taller star this year. I used a shorter one. And this is uh, one of a group of five stars that I've had in my coffers for a decade or more. More than that. I had them in my other house. So, more than that. Then, of course, we need Mary. And she is looking down on her newborn son. Jesus, so there we go. The Holy Family, there we go. Center stage, first and foremost in my mind for Christmas. Now I do have some wise men and other folks to add here, uh, but I wanna go ahead and start building out the design. And I think I'm gonna start with a couple of reindeer that are gold. And I didn't buy anything for this design this year, you guys, absolutely nothing. So all of this is from last year. And let's see. I'm gonna start him right there. And one on the other side. And I am very symmetrical, you guys. I am a very symmetrical decorator, as you guys will See, I already know for those who have been with me, but as you guys will absolutely see as I decorate this mantle. Okay, so there we go. Next, I'm going uh, to put up a couple of these beautiful white trees. These I got from Hobby Lobby last year for sure. One here. And I might have to tweak this and move it around a little bit once I get everything into place. And of course, one on the other side. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of uh, candle sticks in place. I have mercury glass, gold mercury glass candle sticks. And I have big, tall, red candles to put in them. And 
the two taller ones go right here. Next to the nativity. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm tall, but that's stretching me. Not sure how close I need that to get, but that's there. And one for the other side. And I have two shorter ones. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them in place. One for right here. And one for the other side. Only this one is a smidge shorter than that one. So I have a couple of shims here, which is just a few pieces of wood that uh, I always have. Chris has cut me tons and tons of these. I piled three of them. And let's see if I need three or... Hmm. Just try one. I think three was too many. Let me look. Yeah, I think one will do it. <laughs> Know what I was thinking. Okay, and then the other red candle. There we go. And let's see, all that we have left for on top of the uh, mantle are a couple of trees and the rest of the nativity. And let's see here. I need to move this over a smidge. And that goes there. I got these three. What is wrong with this candle? There we go. Now. Let's see, where should I put the rest of these fellas? Uh, let's see. One here. And I need to put a shim underneath this tree because it's sitting up on the hanger. Let me put that back there. There we go. And put this dude right here. There we go. And let's see. Right here. Put some underneath that tree too. There we go. He fits right there. And I got two more. There you go here. I think that looks pretty good. Now, I think we're still missing a little color. I really want to bring some red up in. Last year, I purchased some red velvet poinsettias and uh, I'm going by 
look instead of memory here, what, where I would like them. In here. Get up there, buddy. And one here. I'm going to fix that. And one on either side over here. Okay. And you know, I might be tweaking it a little bit here and there, but that's basically it. First of all, I have some bells. Looky here. I got these last year. And I'm gonna put one in here. Snug it in here. And what they look like. One over here. Now for the bows. And here they are. I had to I had to fluff them last night. But uh, I made, these are just red velvet. You will see a lot of red velvet with gold trim bows around this decor, you guys. And I'm gonna hang it right here where this uh, hanger comes up, if I can find it, here it is. We're on the wrong side. I do have a loop that I made out of the pipe cleaner. I, put, I say that's the wrong side because I have the tails hanging in a certain direction. There we go. This right-handed tail is longer here and it's the left one is longer over there. It's hard to find these hangers, there it is. There we go. And yes, I made these bows several years ago. These hold anyway, up. Anyway, all right, there we go. So that's pretty much it for the mantle. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. I just love it. Classic. And just so pretty. You probably didn't see me put those bows on, did you? All right, next and last, I have a bunch of these red, oh my goodness, red berry stems. And all I do is I stick them into this garland until it's the way I want it to look. All right, so I'm just gonna start playing around here and I'll probably put myself into fast motion as I add this stuff in. And then I'll be right back. everybody I think that's gonna do it I really do I think it's gonna do it uh, what I'm gonna do is do my final words here and then I'll take the camera down and I will take a video all the way across this up close so you can see everything up close but I'm super happy with how it worked out again this year uh, you know Jesus is the reason for the season there he is center stage I love it I absolutely love it and now I have a basic design with which to work you know and you're going to see snowmen come in. You're going to see other nativities come in. You're going to see red berries come in. You're going to see greenery come in of the flock variety and of the regular variety, regular plain variety. Reindeer, all kinds of things like that. Just the classic, classic 
warm fuzzies that I think of when I think of Christmas, you know? And I hopefully will do well to mesh and meld everything together for you guys and for our family. Although I'm not hosting our big Christmas thing this year, my immediate family will be here and we will all enjoy it, especially you know who, <laughs> especially our three-year-old grandson, Maverick. But I'm, I'm very, very happy with how this worked out. Uh, I love it. I love Christmas. What can I say? I just love it. It's my very favorite time of the year. So if you wouldn't mind, let me humbly ask you to please subscribe to my channel. This is one of very many uh, Christmas videos that I have coming up. We will be decorating for the next month at least uh, for Christmas and, and then further on past Thanksgiving on the outside. So uh, we've got a lot to do. I would love for you to join me. I really do it up right here at Christmas, I hope, and I would love it and, and be humbled. If you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button, then hit the uh, thumbs up, like, and then hit the notification bell when the drop down menu comes up hit all, and then watch the video all the way to the end, please. Apparently that helps our algorithms. <laughs> so I would appreciate it. Anyway, let me go into my final words and say next up should be the hearth. I think the hearth will be next up later in the week, this week, and then we're just gonna methodically move around this house and decorate and decorate and decorate and decorate. One, decorate with me after the next, after the next, after the next. So <laughs> here we go with our 2023 Christmas decor series. Kicked off with a bang here. Thank y'all so much for stopping in here today. I hope all is well with everyone. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with the catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Stay tuned for a video. Bye-bye.